What do you mean shut up? I'm not going to shut up. It's my turn. My favorite job was having a boss who gave the order to take out Bin Laden. So thank you, Invisible Man in the Chair, for that. And for giving access to affordable health insurance and doubling funding for the Pell Grant. Because it's a moot point. Because the there are on. so many things that will be open again for more attacks. His policies have not helped create jobs. His plan They've to raise taxes them. on small business won't add jobs. It would eliminate his them. assault on coal and gas and oil will send energy and manufacturing jobs to China. The entire auto industry and the lives of over one million hardworking Americans teetered on the edge of collapse, and with it, the entire manufacturing sector of this country. And we looked everywhere for almost help. nobody had the guts to help us. But in 2009, the cavalry arrived, and our new president, Barack Obama. And he saved the American auto industry. Mitt Romney, he saw the same crisis. And you know what he said. Let Detroit go bankrupt. You saved more than one million American jobs. Free trade is a powerful tool for peace and prosperity. But our trading partners need to play by the rules. President Obama promised he would stop these practices. He said he'd go to the Met with China. Instead, they're treating him like a doorman. Colorado, the auto rescue saved more than 9,000 jobs. In Virginia, more than 19,000 jobs. In North Carolina, 25,000 jobs. In Wisconsin, 28,000 jobs. In Pennsylvania, 34,000 jobs. In Florida, 35,000 jobs. In Ohio, 150,000 jobs. And in the great state of Michigan, 211,000 good paying American jobs all across America. Autos are back. Manufacturing is rebounding. Why? And Mitt Romney did say let Detroit go bankrupt. Who took the wheel? Barack Obama. When America was losing 750,000 jobs per month, who gave us a lift? Barack Obama! When America needed it most, who got us rolling again on the road to recovery? And on your ballot, the D is for drive forward. The R is for reverse. In this election, we are driving forward, not back. Let's reelect our great president, Barack Obama! The future where everyone who wants a job can find a job. Where no senior feels for the fears the for the security of their retirement. I have a plan to create 12 million new jobs. And he is saying that he is going to pay for it. closing loopholes and deductions. The problem is that he's been asked a over 100 times how you would close those deductions and loopholes. And he hasn't been able to identify them. Well, for 18 months, he's be been running on this tax plan. And now, five weeks before the election, uh, he's saying that his big, bold idea is, never mind. I really, really enjoyed listening to Rahm's speech, but he's a mayor now, so he can't use four-letter words. But I'm no mayor, so I've got one for you. Vote. We know what we need to do. We cannot turn back now. we got to keep moving forward. 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 I want you all to know that I just registered to vote with a deputy registrar and it only took five minutes.